Hello everyone, it's Magasan Fjord and today I will show you how to update your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge or S6 to Nougat Android 7.0 Android system. So for that you will have to have first of all your device, then PC, USB cable, um, US Samsung USB latest drivers and some tools which is Odin 3.0 or 3.1 3.12.3 and also some mobiles firmware which is here which is which weights quite a lot and for that I will show you how to download all these things and where you can find them so um first of all make sure that you go into some mobile dot com here you are also make sure that you log in or join if you are the first time doing that so after you log in you will have to find the firmware so you go here and you type your model make sure that you can find your model number just by doing it here go by go to settings and then about device and check here all so you see the model number is G925F so Copy that information and just type G925F, for example. So that's the full name, SM. Also, we could see it here. So we just click on that. Click search. And then we find it. Also, make sure that you choose um, the system that will have unlocked uh, it will be unlocked not locked to any other uh, device uh, carrier so for example you need to download the best one is united kingdom either ireland without any career in brackets for example as here vodafone for czech republic also you can download by sites and so just click on that and then scroll down for regular download Click on that. Of course, uh, once you will be logged in, so you will not have to join. Just when you click on that, you will be able to download the file. So the next thing, what you have to do is install uh, Samsung USB drivers, which you can find on my uh, website, which I will put into the description. Also, um, once the USB drivers will be installed, make sure that on your Samsung device, you will have developer tools enabled. So here I have those tools enabled, developer options, but in order to do that, you will have to go about device, then click software info, and then you will have to click uh, build number for five and more times you see that the developer mode is on then go developer mode and make sure that you click tick usb debugging so it must be ticked okay so great what do you have to do next you have to restart the device so uh, make sure that you will have to download um to download Odin so uh, I better show you where you can download from my website so from my website and I will put this link soon so just hold on okay okay so here we are here is my website and make sure that you download Samsung USB drivers. And another thing is Odin 3.12.3. Also, guys, once you finish that, do not forget to donate me. 
one or two dollar two dollar is the best option so make sure that you download these files go through the ad fly so once you skip those ad fly and you will be able to download Samsung with B driver for mobile phones and then another file which is Odin so uh, once the, you have them downloaded so I'll show you what to do next so make sure to extract everything and also the firmware is extracted the firmware download looks like this with the ending zip but once you download you double click on that and you will have to extract this to desktop or any other relevant place so here i extracted to the folder odin so here it is and it has the ending dot star dot md5 simple and once you have also odin extracted to your desktop make sure that you run administrator okay so simply that's it now uh since the device is powered on make sure that you click uh, simultaneously st uh, step by step volume down home button and power button so what i do now and hold it for a few seconds until you see a blue logo which is here it's a warning and just uh click volume up here we go and this is uh you can see some information so we are in a download mode or the mode and let's make sure that you have original cable because sometimes it might not be found but uh, this time i'm using not the original one and it will should still work so um before uh, i will put the cable i want to show you that First, you have to run as administrator. You see nothing here, nothing is here. And once I put, so I put this. So we see here that the device added is COM number eight. So, and also now click for AP. Go to the folder where you left your firmware and wait for like from it dependable on pc speed from like half a minute to few minutes also um i don't guarantee that in this video i will show you a uh, successful uh, flashing of this firmware because many times there occur uh, some errors so this time there also you can see either um, green pass or there will be a red fail so don't worry uh, if I have the error so I will just uh, stop this video but anyway uh, I will also have the video where I fixed a hidden image issue so don't worry everything should be all right so uh, once you see the binary size it's here so also you see this notification basically it looks like this the phone is on the same mode make sure that once once you click on the start here do not turn the usb cable off until it's end so let's start doing that so just click start Okay, so here we go, boot. Uh, I wish it will not be a fail, but it also can happen. So I will have to uh, flash, I will have to flash a normal, normal system. So you see that we have here some changes. And it should take from like five minutes to 15 minutes, I think, longest time. 
So basically, after doing that, I will show you make a tutorial of Android 7.0 Nougat uh, bypass Google account because many people were complaining that the latest uh, the video which I re-uploaded is a f it that this method it doesn't work anymore. It has been patched by Google, but um, I can assure you that the the method what are you using according to my video may not work due to many reasons one of them is that you keep getting error or nothing shows up on real time after you put the first or second code so make sure that you either restart pc or application and also change with b cable change with b ports and uh, also make sure that you use on real term you tick half duplex and also try uh, such methods like um, like adding calendar uh, event or simply by adding a contact but you have to do it very quickly so uh, Okay, it's almost done, but I think I'm not so sure that it will work. Usually, in many cases, it's a fail. It's a fail, but just really hope that it will work and save my time. So, okay, we have the... <clears throat> almost finished so it, as I told you before it takes doesn't take so long just if get fail uh, uh, repeat those clicking volume down home, home button and power button so we already have cage hidden Okay, hidden has reset, pass. That's great. That's great. So if you have this, the PC restarts. As I know, you can uh, remove the cable, but let's keep it for a while. So you will see this message. All threads completed, succeeded one, failed zero. That's great news. So basically, okay, so it's finished. I think that the next thing that will come here is that uh, all applications will be, will update and will it all will also take some time, but it shouldn't be so long. So basically, so basically, I really recommend if you have uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge uh, G925F model, then you can use this firmware from England, England, Great Britain, Britain, Great Britain, <laughs> Brit. Okay, I forgot how to spell correctly. So Great Britain, Britain and uh, Ireland. So just. The first boot up will take also some time, so do not panic. And also show you the proof that this is latest Android 7.0 device, so that there will be no station. I guess I will just just if you just I will show the the message the lock the full lock how it should look if you if it have a red fail so it would show failed but do not worry do not panic I have a solution for that and I showed the video last year with the solution so it's done by putting a hidden image into one of these 
Um, I don't remember exactly. Okay, installation complete. Okay, great. I see some changes uh, in layout. Okay, so. Yes, I see changes. I also see no oh, upgrade in Android. So yes, definitely that's a Nougat update. That's a Nougat update. And I also showed you previously Galaxy S7 Edge, how it looked like. Yes, definitely that's, that's a Nougat. Game launcher, Samsung Pay. Oh, it disappeared somehow. So great, great, great. I will turn. Wow, great experience. So, okay, no data since. And so let's, I guess I will show you. So basically this is how it looks. And as um, proof I go about device, okay. So here's my number. Samsung Pay, okay, and software info, Android 7.0. Also, let's take a look at Android security level, which is February 1st, 2017. So that's it, basically, I don't know. Maybe show some in interface. Okay, so it's working really nice. And so we here we have TV available at my home. So everything is working perfectly. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay stay just if you like please subscribe to my video and also comment below if you have any issues and don't forget to donate if you can two euros that would be really appreciated if one euro that's okay but remember that you pay uh, some fee uh, so if you send just one euro and if you send more so it will be quite not so much even uh, without any fee but of course not for you but for me so thank you thank you very much and have a nice evening peace out